the I mean, 90s. They had a good variety. It was very music, eclectic. Bro. Oh so, yeah, it was, and it was all know? good. What are they? I'm Mr. Tunes Loco. I'm Rachel Hartsong. Last season, we brought you food, interviews, and more. This season, we're on location, bringing you culture, cannabis, and the finest New Mexico has to offer. <laughs> this is Cooking with the Homeboy. Today, we're on location at the El Vado with Mr. Gato Malo himself, Felix y los Gatos. <laughs> I've been playing for 25 years. I've toured around the whole country uh, playing music. I have an agent out of Denver. It takes me all over the country. Uh, I quit drinking about four years ago, so all I do is smoke now. My, my main band is Felix y Los Gatos with the button accordion player D.B. Gomez on button accordion, uh, Norteño Tim on bass. And then we've got Ricardo Sanchez on drums, and then me playing uh, guitar and vocals. So, and we, we also have a horn section on it, and uh, a violin. There's, it's just going to be a great album, and uh, I've been pushing it for 25 years, so I, I think, you know, I'm it's great. It's, it's happening, so it's going to kick ass. And do it. That's right. Take it's going to kick ass. Shit. Yeah, um, well, it just kind of matters. I like enchiladas with bread. But uh, I like my burritos and cream. <laughs> that sounds like uh, a yeah. song, right? <laughs> you should write a song like that. <laughs> well, I have a song called <coughs> Green Chili Gumbo. Chess for Checkers. Chess for Checkers. Well, I haven't played chess in a while, but I like chess. I like chess. No, um, if you had three wishes, what would you Three wishes. Well, I would like to have a 1957 Telecaster, Fender Telecaster guitar. Oh shit, there you go. I uh, I just want, you know, it, it, it sounds very cliche, but you know, world peace, man. Just, just get everyone, on, everyone get, get along, along, man. Just, smoke a joint, kick just, back. Just chill, man. Just, you know, enough with the, the hate and the, you know. And the third one would be, you know, whoever's uh, recovering from, a, you know, being an addict. Or just keep on pushing, man. Keep on pushing. Addiction, addiction man. Like you could beat that, and that would, that's what it would be. Oh, yeah. No, that's beat their addiction. That's a great wish. Yeah. Cabbage addiction is not that really good, isn't it? Yeah, man. That's yeah. true. And uh, who is your biggest inspiration to start playing? Well, I mean, when I was growing up, your grandpa, my uncle, Diego, was one of them. Because oh, yeah. he was around since I was a kid playing music. Cypress Hill, <laughs> Cypress Hill. Nirvana to Steve Ray Vaughan to... The 90s, just, they had a good variety It was very music, eclectic. Bro. Oh, so, yeah, it was. And it was all know? good. How do you feel about the legalization of marijuana in New Mexico and on a national level? Well, uh, I think it's good. I mean, uh, I think it's better than alcohol, uh, for sure. It's, it's, it's good for... Uh, it's good for the economy, oh, you know, really? for sure, but it's good for just your mental health, you know. It's it's better than any prescription drug that's out there, and it, 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 it heals, it heals, man. Yeah. <laughs> fucking it. So, what are they? What are they? Five, man. Oh, yeah. Fucking it. Thanks, we'll brother. Thank you guys for fucking yeah. reaching out, man. Be sure to check out his album coming up pretty soon. What was the name of the album? We haven't named the album. <laughs> it's gonna be named pretty soon. It's gonna be yeah. out in March. Eh? Look forward to it. Eh? Shout out to all the Mexicanos. Eh? Fucking Mexico music in the house. Eh? For real, eh? Thank you for the tips and thank you for the gatos. <laughs> <laughs>